The Conference on Racial and Social Justice uh, is formally known as NEA's conf Joint Conference on the Concerns of Minorities and Women. The conference focused on providing both professional development uh, and some leadership development, but also a way for members uh, to participate in discussions around the issues that impact women and impact minorities broadly. We always try to include art as a part of what we're doing because the art broadly plays a huge role in protest. So we want to make sure that that's part of the conference. We had uh, Rich Medina as a DJ. He opened with a history lesson on music's role in protest. Protest music has been a part of this great quilt that we call the United States of America since the colonizers got here. Later that day, of course, we had Rin Kusen. She's got a particular message that she delivers. The second thing I need to, you to do as part of interrupting racist talk and racist action is I need you to get people to stop calling the police over bullshit. I never again want to see a story in the newspaper about cops being called on a five-year-old. Never, ever again. When you can find somebody like a Sean King you know, has a massive following, done a lot of good writing, good work in support of not just the district attorney work that he does, but also support of families directly. I always wonder who would I be or what would I do if I was alive in the civil rights movement? Would I be a protester or would I be an organizer? Or would I be like the bulk of Americans and just be a spectator? And I don't think we have to ask ourselves that question anymore because the truest indicator of who you would be in the civil rights movement is who you are right now because we are in that moment. And then Rashad Robinson, again, you know, leading Color of Change. He's got a very sound message, again, that's really framed around this idea of presence to power. Because you can have presence, but you have no power. I always talk about the difference between presence and power. We might get our issues on the front page or tweeted out by celebrities or written on a thousand signs at protests or on the streets, but we cannot re confuse presence of our issues for the power we need to change the rules. All the spaces in the organizing lounge center us around what art means. Like how do we use art and for what purpose? If you actually spend a little time walking around to actually view it as it's intended to be viewed, right? It just sort of speaks to some artist's commitment to use their talent in protests or to support movement. Same with Joseph Broski and the sort of light brigade folks, right? They painted all those banners of which two of them actually got used in the rallies. It's one thing for us to sort of organize ourselves and be energized have presence, but it's another thing for us to take the 10 or 12,000 people we had out front yesterday and get them to the voting booth. So if we can do that, then we're, really, we're doing something.